Hi and welcome to this review of my Jingong SG552. Currently it's on safe, no batteries in it, empty magazine. The overall length of the SG552 is 28 inches and that's equal to 71 centimetres. With the stock in the folded position that length is reduced down to 18.5 inches and that's 47 centimetres. The overall weight of the SG552 without my flashlight grip here at the front without a battery it's four and three quarter pounds which is 2.2 kilograms so it's not a heavy weapon the stock here is hollowed out as you can see plastic with a rubber mold fitted on the back here this part of the stock is used for your sling point and this part of the stock is used when the stock is folded it locks onto the front receiver by giving it a little knock and it holds the folded stock in place very strong, very sturdy unlike the JLS scar I had um, this one stays when you fold it there's a button on this side made out of die cast metal push it in and it releases the stock for folding there is a little bit of movement at the hinge point when the stock is left free like this which of course it shouldn't be it should either be fully locked in the uh, open position or folded away and locked in place in that position so even though there is a little bit of wobble on the hinge it doesn't really matter the pistol grip is the same material as the stock it's uh, plastic, it can shine up a bit where your hand goes around it here uh, apart from that it's quite nice and chunky, it's comfortable to hold and we'll stay down this area at the moment because we come to the trigger and trigger guard now the trigger is plastic the trigger guard is pressed metal and it can be twisted out of the way like so so if you're wearing thick gloves you can still use the trigger you can get in there and use the trigger and you don't have to worry about the guard being in the way and then you can just fold it back built on to the trigger guard is the mag release lever and very easy to use just hold the mag, thumb on the lever, push it and the mag comes away going back onto the receiver it has an ambidextrous fire mode select lever so I can use the right or left hand side to select and here you can see it's on S for safe one click is a red one which is for single semi-auto fire and another click is 20, red 20, for full auto fire. Now, this SG552, as the Tokyo Maru SG552, does not have a burst rate selector, whereas the Tokyo Maru SG551 does. Very positive fire mode select, it's got a good solid feel and a good click. At the top here we have an iron sight. It is a cast iron sight, it is fully adjustable. There is a screw here that you can put a screwdriver into to change elevation. And there is a big screw head here that you put a screwdriver into 
to change it for windage. As well as that, the actual site itself has uh, different diameter holes for whether you are doing pinpoint accuracy type shooting or whether you want a more um, wider field of shooting. It has a sling point attached to the iron sight as you can see here. It is cast and therefore in my opinion brittle and subject to being damaged. I don't sling point from here as I use it with the stock open not folded I use the stock sling point. On this my SG552 you can see I've added a top rail here. This top rail is a standard Tokyo Marui SG552 top rail. Fits like a glove. No problems at all. It's exactly the same spec. The whole receiver, including the ejection port cover, are plastic. The bolt lever is cast and upon pulling it back you reveal a plastic hopper. Now it's the cylinder type hop-ups, the same type you'll find in the Tokyo Marui G36C or the SRC XM8. It's that type and no doubt in other uh, airsoft weapons.